Good morning all. So here we are back again in our chemistry lab. Now let's continue the series of acidic and basic radicals. Now we are having salt number three with us. Before going to the salt free analysis, I would like to revise that you have already done Br minus I minus as acidic radical, NH4 plus and Pb2 plus as basic radical. Now we are going to perform salt analysis for acidic radical. Okay. So for acidic radical, as we know, there are three groups. How they can be identified? One is with diluted esters of four. Second is with concentrated esters of four. And third, there are two ions which are independent. There are two ions which are independent. One is sulfate, and other is phosphate. One is sulfate, and other is phosphate. Before going for dilute and concentrated esters of four, what we can do? We can eliminate the possibility whether sulfate is there or not. If sulfate is there, then you are getting it at the one shot. Otherwise, you have to perform with concentrated esters of four. Okay. Now salt will be given to you, and you have to observe what type of salt it is. It is your white salt or colorful salt. So as you can see, it's a white salt. And the state, state is, you can just touch it and you can find, okay, there are no crystals, so it's amorphous. Take a small amount of salt in the test tube, add small amount of distilled water, dissolve the salt. As you can see, the salt, there's some part of salt is still left. Yeah, perfect. Now the salt is completely dissolved. So we are going to perform the sulfate radical test. Sulfate radical test. What you have to do? You have to take barium chloride. You have to take barium chloride. Take barium chloride with the help of dropper and add just one drop of barium chloride. You can see there is a formation of white precipitate. You can see there is a formation of white precipitate. Now on the addition of more amount of barium chloride, All of the sulfate ion will be precipitated along with Ba2 plus ion. This white PPT, this white PPT is of barium sulfate, is of barium sulfate. As you have already read about this reaction in class 10, which is your precipitation or double displacement, when barium chloride reacts with sulfate ion, it forms barium sulfate. So this shows the presence of sulfate ion. This shows the presence of sulfate ion. Okay. Now moving on. What we have done? This is our observation table. First, the color is it's a colorless salt. This is white salt. Colorless state. State is amorphous. Coming back to order, you can take a small amount of salt and you can smell it. There are very few salts which smell. Acetate ion is one of them. If you will smell it, you will find it is odorless. So just odorless. Coming to our observation table, what you have done? You have taken salt plus distilled water and barium chloride solution. What you have observed? White precipitate. So this will lead us to the sulfate ion is present. Sulfate is present. Okay, so now according to our aim to identify one acidic 
and one basic radical in the given salt, we are done with acidic. It comes out to be sulfate ion.